Yo, what is going on? Welcome to Beyond Plug and Play. Today's March 14th, and I am your host, Logic Motion. We have a bunch of gaming news topics to talk about today, so let's get started. So, big news of today is that former Xbox boss Peter Moore says Gen Z may reject new consoles in favor of smartphones and PCs. Why do I need to spend four or 500 bucks on a bespoke piece of gaming hardware when I've got a smartphone or I got my PC or my Mac. In this article, he goes to say that he thinks the end of consoles is a real serious question being asked by Microsoft and Sony and among others. Okay, so after reading this article, I don't really see consoles going anywhere like anytime soon, especially when you think of like consoles like the Nintendo Switch, right? They were able to innovate on a new console that you can just kind of go anywhere with portable like and people love that and i don't i don't really see that going anywhere especially that they know it's successful right um i don't see playstation going anywhere just because a bunch of people play on that platform people love playing games together people love the exclusive games like i just don't see consoles going away or dying right and i do think like as we go into the future like 10 20 years from now consoles will end up changing a lot they might end up being more like PCs than they are consoles. So instead of like being on this seven to eight year time schedule of upgrading a system or every like in the middle of that, we get like a refresh where it's like a PS5 Pro or Xbox Pro or whatever. Instead, we have like you you have your console and then like every three years, it's like an upgrade. Like Sony would be like, oh, here's like the upgraded module that you just install in your PlayStation and boom, there's your upgrade. I see it being like that in like 20 years because um, there's still going to be there's still going to be a demographic for PlayStations, especially Nintendo switches like there's always going to be people that love that. But I don't see like PCs or smartphones replacing consoles like all together just because I feel like these things are used usually in conjunction. It's so, like with your phone or your smartphone, you usually like if you're on PlayStation, you probably have the PlayStation app on your phone. You probably talk to your friends through that phone sometimes. Nintendo, I know you can like talk to some friends through the app. M many people probably aren't using that, but Xbox, same thing. You can just talk to your friends on there. So like I see smartphones being used in conjunction. But I mean, people also play games on their phone. There's a huge gaming market for phones. And then like most modern phones are stronger than the Switch. Uh, so you, you can play games pretty well on the phone nowadays. Uh, PCs. PCs are always going to be around, but like most people that have like a PC, like a gaming computer, they probably have another console too. They probably have like a switch. They probably have like a PlayStation because that's, that's usually the way it goes. We usually get all the Xbox exclusives. So, you know, you probably won't see that combo too much, but you'll still see it sometimes. So I feel like a console, a PC, a smartphone, these like are all used in conjunction of each other. I don't think one or the other is going to play replace any other. If that makes sense. I don't think any of these things will replace each other. I just think they'll be used alongside each other. Um, and even like 20 years from now, 40, 50 years from now, I feel like there will always be kind of like a console or uh, a PC, a smartphone. Like these things will just be used along each other. Next topic. RuneScape creator unveils new MMO after 10 years of development. The name of this game is called Brighter Shores. And if you go to the Steam page, they have a Steam page up already. It looks uh, not like one-to-one -to, -one to RuneScape, but you can see the similarities. Um, if it's anything like RuneScape, though, it's going to be really fun. I remember playing this game. I'm about to sound old, but I remember playing this game like 2001, 2002 on my mom's like super old like computer. Like she would get angry at me because I used to play it so much, but it was like such a cool game. Um, and I really haven't had like, that, that was like my first experience like, PC gaming or just gaming in general. Uh, I think I was like in second grade or something, but it was just like really fun. And I hope uh, that Brighter Shores could give me that same feeling again um, because playing RuneScape for the first time was really fun. It was great. I can't wait to see what this game's about. They're touting at uh, minimizing that grindy gameplay. If you've played RuneScape and you've like played, it's it can get pretty grindy, especially like when you're trying to get your skill capes in <laughs> It can get pretty bad. Uh, some people love that. If they can minimize it even a little bit, that would be awesome. But the game looks sick. Uh, it's very, you can see the RuneScape vibes in it. But uh, it looks like it's going to be a good time. I'm definitely going to check it out and 
can't wait to play it. We also have the Summer Games Fest. It's going to be Friday, June 7th. Uh, I'm sure we're going to get a bunch of cool games, a bunch of cool uh, gameplay videos on what's coming out, trailers, all that good stuff. Uh, it's going to be a good time. I usually always sit down, watch these, see what's coming out. Um, and it's it's enjoyable. It's just nice. It, you know, gives you that E3 vibe that uh, just like game award stuff like, you know, showcases, Nintendo Direct, all that stuff like games coming out. It's awesome. So I'll definitely be here. Definitely going to watch it uh, and see what's coming out. See if we can get some new exciting games. This year's already been like really good with games like the first like what three months have been incredible. <laughs> so like. I can't wait to see what's coming. And this one's more personal just because I really like the game. But uh, V Rising has gotten a official release date. I think it's been in early access for just about two years. I bought it like day one. I had a bunch of fun with it with a bunch of friends. We made our own little private dedicated server. It's great. Uh, it's also coming to PlayStation. But I don't think they revealed a date for PlayStation. It's still TBA. So to be announced. Uh, but I'm really excited just because one, it's finally probably getting controller support. And this game needed controller support bad. Uh, so that's going to be real fun. If you haven't tried V Rising, give it a shot. It's a really good game. It's fun, especially with friends. I'm more into like the PvE co-op stuff, but uh, definitely can't wait till May 8th to play the final finished product. And I'm sure, I'm sure they're going to roll out content and patches even after it fully releases. But to get that fresh game that comes out of early access like it's it's nice but uh that's all the gaming news i got today i was looking for some interesting topics today i, I wasn't really able to find much but uh maybe i just got to get some new resources <laughs> but uh, i'm gonna try to do these every day every single day monday through friday maybe saturday and sunday if i'm feeling bored but uh thank you for watching if you liked the video please do give it a like if you hated it please do give it a, a dislike uh, i want to stay consistent with these i want to push these out and uh, I want to have a good time with it. I want to have fun with it. But uh, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Take care.